Okay, all set to go. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. The wind of the pitch. The Yankees. The second that one out. misses, and we're underway. Next offering upstairs. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One thing about LeMayhew, he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. In the air, left field, Newstrom sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Batting second, the third baseman, Josh. Donaldson. First offering misses badly for ball one. On the ground, right side. Mateo sends it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. The right here is Aaron Judge. Aaron. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. And now, here's the other half of the Twin Towers. John Carlos Stanton. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom of the first. And now the shortstop, Ramon Urias. Leading off. And a pitch. Orioles. Not shortstop. There's a strike. Ramon. And there's the strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Stays alive. The 0 2. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Kelvin Gutierrez stands in here, leaves that one down. Left field. Gallo makes the grab, and there's one down. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch is downstairs. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Three oh down. That's in there. Three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that three oh count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And ball four to a board. Now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. The first Set out baseman. last night's game, but back in there today. Mountcastle. And that's in there for strike one. Urias on second. Mullins over at first with one away. 
Pittsburgh has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That'll load the bases. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. One down. No. Trey Mancini no. now. He swings and fouls one off. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Birdie makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. And they'll score first. It's 1-0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air that and deep good. enough. And that's exactly no what he did. Good pass Anthony. to the baseball. Anthony Santander at the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. Fall off foul. Oh and two now. That one misses. Now one and two. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the inning. Back here in Baltimore, top of the second. Luke Void at the plate. Leading off of Wells back to work. The first baseman. Luke. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Makes the grab, one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Got Birdie at the plate. In there for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. Back to right. Santander moving under it. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Joey Bart. In there and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Adley Rutschman. For the Orioles. And the pitch. The catcher. Adley. And that clips the inside corner. Rutschman. And it's even up. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. A swing and a miss. One away. Now here is Robert Neuster. The left fielder. Number 90. Next nope. offering is down low. Ball one. Right. 
Two balls, no strikes to count. The 2 0 is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Jorge Mateo now. Second baseman. Jorge Mateo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Neustra leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Move first. Neustra dives back in safely. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss. Two out. So next to hit for Baltimore. Ramon Urias. He's going. He's going. Runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. The tag. And that's out number three. Inning over. half of the third inning and stepping in for the Yankees Jose Iglesias first pitch just misses righty to the plate oh that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. And that's in there for strike one. Check on the runner. Back in safe, really close. And the right-hander deals. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first to second, but way too late. Safe there. And the righty deals. Up the middle. Whips it to Mountcastle. And one away in the top of the third. Digging in, Josh Donaldson grounded out his first time. And fouled off. Now the one And that misses off the outside edge. And the next pitch is way outside. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Runner on at third, one gone. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Got him swinging. Two down. Aaron Judge now at the plate. Fourth in the American League in batting average this year. First pitch, not close. Runner at third, two away. Gets under and pops it up. Mateo settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the shortstop Leading at the play. Ramon Urias. Not shortstop. Fouled off left side. The pitch. That one's in there. And the count is 0 and 2. Flares one into center. Oh, great stop. 
Kelvin Gutierrez will hit next. He's now 0 for 1. Third baseman, Kelvin. In there for strike one. Urias gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Good contact guy, good defender. First offering, and it just misses. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. Foul ball there. Left-hand batter waits. Just off the outside part of the plate. And that one in the air, center field. Birdie racing over to make the catch. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Now back, first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty tapped up the first base side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Start of the fourth, stepping in the long ball threat, Giancarlo Stanton. In for a strike, strike one. Stanton, the guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. To third. Oh, the throw is over his head. The battle. The first base. Here's Luke Voigt. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. Got it. And there's one down. And now it's Joey Gallo. In there, and it's 0-1. And foul ball. Oh, and 2 now. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Right-hander kicks, deals, nope. oh. and takes low for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. You're always having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Next offering way off the plate. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Slow roller to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Coming out for the Orioles, Tanner Scott. He's got a run around third to deal with. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Now, John Birdie. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that'll do it.
Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the DH. Trey Mancini. For the Orioles. The Out to hitter. short. Trey. Mancini. Iglesias fires over to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Anthony Santander. The next to hit for the Orioles. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The wind to kick the 2 0. Swing and a miss. And it's 2 and 1 now. Swings and misses. Slider right there. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. That's the second out. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Adley And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark, this is Joey Bart. Leading off the the catcher. And a pitch. Ball. In the air, left side. And a quick out, number one. Jose Iglesias Up stepping in now for the Yankees. The shortstop. Jose Iglesias. Yeah, the first offering is not close. That one pushed foul. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss there. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Stays alive. Next pitch oh, off the plate, and it's two and two. Oh, and a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball. And he deals. Just a slow ground ball this time. Gutierrez gloves it. Throws the first. Score at 5-3 for the second out. And the third baseman shifted over there. Here's DJ LeMayhew. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering way off the plate. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Two outs. That's ball three. Laser base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. To second. Pulls him off the bag. Here's Josh Donaldson. Now that is the third baseman. Josh Donaldson. First offering misses badly for ball one. Foul ball. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off speed the pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. It's Aaron Judge now. And Judge spoils that one. LeMayhew over at second. Donaldson at first, two out of the inning. 
High fly ball out to center field. Urias on his way over. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Robert Neustrom. Leading off for the Orioles. No Next pitch fielder. downstairs. Number One and oh. And a foul ball left side. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And he flips a breaking ball in there for a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. And now it's even up. The other way. And that's just foul. That one the other way, and it's caught for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. And now, Jorge Mateo. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Kicks and fires. And now one and two. Next one just misses. Two and two. A wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Gallo pulls that one down. And there's two down. Ramon Urias, now the next to hit for the Ramon. Orioles. Ramon. First pitch, just misses. Ball one, no strike. Next offering upstairs. Next one is off the play. Three balls, no strikes. And a four-pitch walk. Luis Severino into the game. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And into the box for Baltimore, Kelvin Gutierrez. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch is downstairs. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The next offering misses. Three and one. So now two on and two outs. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick three pass. So two down now, and here is Cedric Mullins. This one popped up. LeMayhew under it and makes the play and that's out number three. We're back and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Dylan Tate. He last pitched two days ago. Back here in Baltimore, top six. And now the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The designated hitter. And first Giancarlo offering is fouled off. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport.
he's a force and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back he hits the ball so hard you don't even have to watch him swing you can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball hit hard on the ground is short and they take care of Stanton for the out and Luke Voigt climbs in that's the third rolls across the diamond two quick outs to open the top of the sixth two outs base is empty here's Joey Gallo that hits the dirt and that's ball one next pitch inside and that's ball two And there's the strike. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there. On its way and gone. Base is empty with two away. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, John Birdie. In there for strike one. Birdie. And now the count is even. On the ground, right side. It's in and out of his glove. And next for New York, Joey Bart. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Birdie off of first with two away. He's a 1-1. One, one. Runner on the goal. Ball misses. He's in there. to the left side. Oh, great grab on the dive. And very nicely done for the out. Well, we go bottom six. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Leading off for the Orioles. The first first pitch, and he just oh, misses. Yeah. Mountcastle. Next offering is in for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Pitch misses there, and now three and two. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. So now the DH spot, Trey Mancini. Mancini. Bounced up the middle. Iglesias picks it up, and that quickly two away. So up next, Anthony Santander. Right fielder, Anthony Santander. First pitch, not close. Next offering is way upstairs. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Next offering is down low. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. 
Pulls it in on the warning track. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Cole Sulser. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Cole Sulser. Top of inning number seven, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. The shortstop. And a pitch. Just missed. That misses. Ball two. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Liner snagged at first. Now it's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. One for three. In there, and it's 0-1. pitch Ooh. that's a strike that is strike two the pitch and it's even up. Next pitch inside, and it's three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next offering is fouled back. Three and two now, and that's ball four. Runner on at first with one gone. And up next for New York, Josh Donaldson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next pitch misses inside. And now it's even 1 and 1. That one hit to right. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. Here comes Aaron Judge. The right fielder, number 91. Aaron Judge. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Rip to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. First and second, two down. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. In there for strike one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. So now one and two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Next pitch is popped up. Mateo has a beat on it. Squeezes it, and the Ladies inning and is and over. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. On the ground, right side. Slides, but it gets by him. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Zach Britton. Trying to protect this lead. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. 
Here's the left fielder, Robert Neustrom. And that's in there for strike one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now battle. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Jorge. Orioles. Mateo. In there, and it's 0 1. One run game, one out, one on. Swing and a bouncer. LeMahieu gets it to first. Got the out. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles for the fourth time tonight. First pitch, just misses. Rutschman at second with two down. One lifted in the air, left field. Gallo makes the play, and that is the inning. New Four arm out of the bullpen, three. Paul Fry. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 51, Paul Fry. Ready to begin the eighth. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. Off of the, Yankees, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Pitch. That one misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Here comes a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's a ball to strike. And the pitch. And another ball. Two one now. Late that time, it's strike two. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Next offering is downstairs. Three two now, and so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Next to hit Joey Gallo. That one's in there. Zero and one. Rudder at first with no outs here. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no -no. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And there's one away. John Birdie stepping in now for the Yankees. Birdie. First offering, misses the mark. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Kicks and deals. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. In for a strike, now 3-1. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice play to pitch. 
And here is Joey Bart. And the first offering is not close. And now the lefty. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. There's the strike. Good 2-0 changeup right there. I mean, as a hitter, you have it in the back of your mind that you have to sit fastball. And based on the swing, you got to think that's what he saw out of the hand. Next pitch misses. And now 3-1. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Mullen puts it away. Runner tags from third. He scores on the sack fly. It's 3-1. Well, these guys understand how important each run is, especially as you get closer to the end of the ball game. Nice job right there to get that runner in from third and add a little insurance. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And it's one and one. Up the middle, it's through for a hit. Here comes the runner. He scores, and they lead by three. Dean Kremer gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's pitching on two days rest. The third base John. Now the number two hitter, Josh Donaldson. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a swing and a line drive in the right field. That's a hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. The tag, and he's safe. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Up next to the anchor, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. First pitch, and he just misses. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Slice to right, base hit. Not in time, he's safe. Here's Stanton now. Now that designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And a 1-1. In the air, out towards right center. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. Up next to the Yankees, the first baseman. Luke. And here's Luke Voigt. Trailed to left center, way back there, and that is gone. Coming on for the Orioles, Jorge Lopez. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Jorge Lopez. So two away with nobody on. Here's a big power threat. Joey Gallo. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. No 
That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. Here's a speed threat, John Birdie. The center fielder, number 14. And the first John pitch misses in the dirt. Birdie. Next offering is in for a strike. In there. And so now one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. Out of the bottom of the eighth and into the box for Baltimore, Kelvin Gutierrez. For the Orioles, the third baseman, the pitch. Kelvin. That's down and in. The 1 0. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next pitch is downstairs. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it hits the fence. Gallo returns it to the infield, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. So, man aboard. And now, Cedric Mullins, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a pop-up. Iglesias puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. At the play, Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Mountcastle. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch is outside. And the count is 2-0. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And a count two and one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Runner leads away at second. And a strike in there. Got him. Two gone. Trey Mancini, now the next to hit the for the Orioles. Hitter, Trey Mancini. First pitch way inside a fastball. Hard hit, left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gathers and throws the first. Out number three. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Joey Bart. The catcher. That's in for a strike. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one. 
Ball to strike. And a curve misses outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Pay off pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well struck left field. And gone! So digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. Now that second base. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Bounce to the right. Mateo collects to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Stepping in, Josh Donaldson. The wind of the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Next one misses, and it's two and one. The two one. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge, in there for strike one. Jack swing went around. No balls, two strikes. 0 oh, and 2 now. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And the 0 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And yeah, the right hander deals. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. That's the third out. Welcome back. Bottom nine. And into the box for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. For the and a pitch. The right fielder. That one Anthony. out to right. Santander. Makes the grab one away. Here's the catcher. Adley Rutschman. The catcher, number 36. Adley Rutschman. First pitch well, not close. The lefty to 1-0. Nope. And now just two outs away. Here we go, Mario. 2-0. That one fouled off. Offering his foul back. The pitch. Ripped to third and caught. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions, great Number athleticism, 90. and he snatched that thing out of the air and he robbed him of a base hit. Now at the plate, Robert Neustrom. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Nope. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game.